What's up guys? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. I'm Jake and today we are going to be moving some logs. As you can see here, I got the Kubota L3901 tractor warming up inside the shelter logic. Currently I have the pallet forks on it, but we are going to be taking those off, switching over to the grapple. Um, for those of you who have been watching the channel, you kind of know I got my splitter over here. I do the cutting right here where all the sawdust is. And then I have my pile of logs. And then I've had some more over here. And that was because it was really soft and wet and stuff you can see from all the snow that we've been getting. Um, but now that that's drying up, or well, drying up and melting, so it's kind of still sloppy. But um, now that it's melting, I'm going to be moving all these logs that were over here back over here to where they should be um, on top of the you know wood chips everything so I don't continue to tear up this area with the tractor like it is. Um, in a future video once it warms up we will be using the new rear blade to kind of grade this out, level it, and probably spread some more wood chips but like I said that's for another video. Um, I kind of have these separated out right here. I have mostly ash except for these one, two, three, four big rounds of red oak. Um, so all this ash, I'm gonna move over on top of the sawdust that I showed you over there because I'll split that up first because it's uh, pretty dry, not quite ready to burn. I think once I split it, it'll take a couple weeks and it should uh, dry out. But then I got all this Norway maple and some black cherry as well in this pile. And I'll probably move all this stuff in front of this other pile because that stuff needs to be seasoned. So. That wasn't too bad. Um, if you remember in one of the last videos when we took this off, I taught Chris how to equalize out the pressure in the lines so that it would make it nice and easy to get these on. Seemed to have worked. Sometimes with really cold weather, it will get a little bit frozen up, but I think it's just warm enough where that didn't happen this time, luckily. Um, so we're all set to start moving logs. So for those of you who might be new to the channel or haven't seen my other videos on the grapple, um, I have a Kubota L3901 tractor with the LA525 loader and the grapple that I chose to get was the Everything Attachments 55 inch Wicked Root Rake grapple. So this grapple, as you can see, picks up these two logs, you know, no problem. They're ash logs this one just for comparison put my hand on it it's a decent sized log they're both bigger than my than my hand and usually from my thumb to my pinky is about eight or nine inches um, so th these are some good sized logs the grapple picks it up no problem it's 55 inches wide it has a single lid on the top and the bottom tines as you can kind of see down there 
um, are what serve as the root rake. Um, Everything Attachments makes several different models, single lid, double lid, long bottom, uh, just regular grapples. They make, you know, these root rake grapples, a little bit of everything for uh, different needs. This grapple, I kind of wanted one thing that kind of did it all. Um, this thing is great for brush because it's nice and wide. It has these tines on the top here to hold in, you know, smaller stuff when I'm moving brush. The bottom root rake functionality works great. Go back to some of my very first videos of me root raking with it. Um, it works really well for that. And I mean, I'd be honest, I mostly use it to pick up logs. Um, I do tree work for a living and uh, this thing just works great. And the tractor has no problem picking them up, lifting it, I load them into the back of my trailer. It makes real quick and easy work. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section below on the grapple. But I just wanted to do a, a quick little blurb about the grapple and uh, how I use it. Um, I think it weighs about 200 to 250 pounds, which is really light for a grapple. If you do your research, that, you know there's all different types of grapples, some intended for skid steers with much higher lift capacities. My tractor here doesn't have nearly the lift capacity of a skid steer, so you know, the lighter the grapple, the more you can lift, in other words. Um, but I didn't really want to sacrifice any, you know, heavy dutiness or ruggedness on the grapple by, you know, shedding off the pounds. And I think everything attachments is really onto something here with the way that they have all the weight reduction of holes and everything. Um, I haven't bent any teeth on it or any, you know, really even bended it or bent it at all. Um, still straight as an arrow like when I got it off the shipping truck uh, I can't say enough great things about it. it really really works well All right, guys, you can see the Wicked Grapple and Kubota tractor made quick work. Got a nice, neatly stacked pile of ash here. Um, it's all gone. I got the three out of the four big rounds of oak moved over here. I just gotta grab that last fourth one. And then we're going to start with this Norway maple. Um, I'm gonna start with the Norway maple and black cherry. This pile, as opposed to this little pile, because these are longer, like full log length, um, and I'll stack them up on this pile over here, and then I'll finish by taking these smaller pieces of black cherry and stacking them up on top. Kind of like, well, not kind of like, literally the cherry on top.
Alright guys, so for those of you who weren't impressed before by the two ash logs, here we have two black cherry logs, and black cherry is significantly heavier wood than ash. This top one is, you know, much larger, oh, we got a lot of sun glare there, much larger at the butt end than the bottom one. So much so that I had to pick it up extremely offset. You can see how much is over on this side compared to on this side, just to keep it all balanced. But at the narrow end, this big log has got to be at least 15 inches, I'd say. The small log is probably about 12. And then on the big side, I don't even know. I mean, it's pretty big. Here's my hand I'm trying to get the glare out of there, but that's probably got to be a, you know, 22 inch log or so. Um, very big logs. This wicked grapple picks them up with ease. Sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling just to get the teeth to grab when you're trying to pick up multiple logs like this. But the nice thing about it is, I'll walk over to the other side without the glare. Sorry for the shaky camera. But the other nice thing about this grapple is, is that it has a curved lid at the top. So you can really kind of angle tip the grapple out and go up and over the logs when they're on the ground to get a good grab at it, as opposed to just one that would be flat and you would just kind of be, you know, pinching the top of the log. But here you can see, you're kind of over the crest of the top and it grabs it really well. It's got the serrated teeth on there to dig into the bark, both on the top and on the bottom. Um, just works really well. So this is a good example of two pretty big logs and the tractor L3901 again, picks them up with ease. If you're going to be doing this, I recommend always having the proper ballast in the back. Right now, I have my ballast box on. I don't know exactly how much it weighs. I think it's a bit lighter than my chipper, and the chipper's around 1,000 pounds. Um, so I'd say that the ballast box is maybe around 800. But yeah, picks it up really well. And as you can see, I think we only have about three logs left over there. We got a nice big pile of wood over here. And then we got our dry ash. So we're gonna finish up. guys that's gonna be it for this one um, the 55 inch everything attachments wicked root rate grapple made real quick work of all those logs as you can see they're all stacked up really nice and neatly behind me ready to come back and cut them up shuffle them on over to the uh, rugged made log splitter um, if you guys have any questions on the grapple or how I like to use it or anything like that feel free to put them in the comment section below I have a lot of videos in my library of me using this thing um, and some earlier videos of me using the root rake functionality of it when I back when I first got it, like last spring. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel and haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. We're, we're starting to tickle 2,000 subscribers, guys. Um, I'd really like to get there within the next week or so. So that would be fantastic. Be sure to hit that button. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the video, and we'll see you here next time at Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching.